Welcome to the Sim Hanger. My name's Mark, the Sim Hanger for all things flight sim related. Now, we're all probably aware of the rather turbulent and rocky launch that the Hewlett Packard Reverb VR headset had initially in the market. Plagued with technical problems, these were eventually overcome by and large, and it has proved to be fairly popular with simmers because of its great resolution, the best in the market at the affordable end. At 2160 by 2160. Well, there's been some speculation in the market recently in terms of what would the next generation of Hewlett Packard VR headsets look like. Well, that speculation is now over. Hewlett Packard have announced the HP Reverb Generation 2. But it hasn't been a solo effort. They've been working with Microsoft and more importantly with the same people that brought you the Valve Index and it shares some of the common features with that headset. So, let's take a look and let's get started. This appears to be much more than just a reworking of the headset. This is a complete rebuild and it features new lenses from Valve. Hopefully this will get rid of the mirror that plagued the original lenses. Brightness and contrast has been improved, so the clarity should be excellent. FOV has remained the same at 114 degrees. Distinctively, it's going to feature off-ear audio, with the headset earpieces sitting 10 millimeters away from your ears. This feature has been quite popular with the Valve Index and offers a greater degree of comfort, but it is a matter of personal choice. Unlike the original Reverb, it's going to feature a manual IPD adjustment from 60 to 68 millimeters. Combined with what is expected to be a larger sweet spot, this should bring an improvement. It's still an inside out tracking headset, but it's got two more cameras, making four cameras and improving tracking overall. Just as the manual IPD improves the ease of use of this headset, it's also going to feature a face cushion with magnetic fixing points, just like on the Valve Index. And also, it's going to feature a flip-up screen, so you can pop in and out of VR as needed, and with ease. Another improvement is there's no bulky join of cables now at the back of your neck. It's one single 6 meter cable right through to the PC. Connector via DisplayPort and USB-C, although an adapter for USB 3 is supplied. The mixed reality controllers at last get a refresh and an upgrade and are now more reminiscent of the original Oculus Touch controllers which were so popular. These controllers are fully compatible with Windows Mixed Reality, so they can be used with any headset. And I believe they're going to be on sale separately as well. However, the HP Reverb G2 is not going to be compatible with older controllers. This new VR headset then is going to be a Windows Mixed Reality headset, but will have compatibility with Steam using the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam application. This will allow access to the whole Steam library, including the new Half-Life Alex game. And of course, a wealth of different simulators. Having been jointly developed by Valve, you can have confidence it's going to be fully Steam compatible. Availability of this headset is not yet known, although I see it is for pre-order already on various Hewlett Packard websites. And the price? Well, it's expected to be US 599. The pound and euro price is going to be something pretty similar. This pegs it very close to the HP Reverb Pro price and must be something approaching 50% discount compared to Valve Index. So this is likely to be an attractive offer in the market. I'd be interested to know what you think about this and please leave your comments in the notes below. Well, I think it'd be fair to say it's been fairly quiet in the VR headset market recently in terms of new launches. So it's good to see some new headsets out soon into the market. 
I'll be sure to keep you updated on any further information and developments in terms of the HP Reverb G2. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found this useful and informative. See you all again very soon and bye for now.